little country with Dalton Distillery. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make malt out of wheat. You just get meat seed, uh, wheat seed. Get you a, a best would be a burlap bag. I'm just putting a gallon in because one, if you're not careful, this can mold very easily. So you want to have a good volume. Okay. Put the wheat into this bag. Tie it up so you don't lose any of your product. Real tight. You can put this in a bathtub if you have well water. It was best to use uh, spring water, well water, city water. does not work that well at all. It takes a couple of days longer. One, you want to keep this shaking and cool. So we're in the month of March. We're going to put this in the body of water, spread the seed out well, and I'll pull that out every day, look at it, make sure it's swollen, and then we'll check back with you. This is Little Country again, back to Dalton Distillery. One I wanted to show you, we put our um, wheat seed inside the poke, soaked it in water, soaked it in water for about 36 hours. This is the type of seed that we started out with. So 24 to 36 hours, you soak it, it'll swell up. And this is what you should want to see. So when you should be able to see how it's swollen, it's considerable size difference. Right. One, we only put roughly a gallon inside this because we wanted to have good volume. We wanted to have it spread out good. We'll tie it back up. real tight. We're going to set it, cover it up so it will swell, start sprouting. Now, what I do, several people may try it differently. We're going to spread this out and get a good thing because this is real easy to mold. And that would, if you do malt any alcohol with it, it would have a bad taste. One, we, we want to spread this out real good and have it as thin as possible, and you should be able to easily feel that. Spread that out very even. We're going to cover this up, and then if it don't rain, we'll pour some well water or rain water. I use a container. We'll check back. This is something that you need to pour water on 24 hours later. Pick it up, shake it, and flip it over. And rotate. I won't check it tomorrow. I'm going to um, uncover it, shake it up, and turn it upside down, spread it out again, make sure it's uh, covered up, pour water on it again in about three days. I'll look at it if I'm not seeing any sprouts to come through. But by that time, we should see that, and we'll check back with you later. And with Dalton Distillery showing you about the malt. We're going to be checking our wheat seed. We get this out. We've had this buried now for three days. Day one, I buried it. Second day, I pulled it out, shook it, and laid it, turned it over. Um, I put water on it last night because it didn't rain. We'll check it out and see. This will be the first time that I decided to actually uh, open it up, look at it, see if it's sprouting, if it's ready, if we need to. And it's starting to sprout, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bury it and let it sprout some more. I'll get a double handful. The one, this is the same concept that you'd use for corn, barley, or rye. I just prefer to use wheat. We're gonna tie this back up, we'll shake it up again, bury it deep. It's still a little chilly. The good thing about cold weather, it's definitely not uh, going to prevent it from molding. So we're going to tie this back up, 
I'm gonna shake it up real good, bury it again. Since it's cold, I'm gonna bury it fairly heavy. Is this the only way to make malt? Of course not. This is just the way my family has done it for over 100 years, and this is the way we prefer it. So I'll bury it again, I'll bury it a little heavier, and we'll check back with it and show you whenever it's sprouted uh, for our best use, okay? This is a little country again with Dalton Distillery. We're checking our malt. This has been in the ground about five days. Every day we'd come out, I'd take it, shake it up, and uh, turn it over, spread it out as much as I could, getting it as thin as possible, and pouring cold water over top of it, and it'd be buried. I'd cover it back up. It's been uh, chilly for the last few days, so I'd put more. Uh, we are using mulch. You can use wheat. I mean, um, grass, hay, whichever is easiest for you. We just got this mulch here. Um, one, we want it to malt really good. So it's snowing. Right here, this is our malt. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna show you, is this getting cold? We're gonna show you how we take this out, spread it out so it don't mold. When it's getting chilly outside, so we move indoors. One, as far as Southerns goes, we look at using every resource that we have. Before you do this, I recommend that you have a beautiful and loving and understanding wife like I do, boss lady. She's allowing me to use our indoor screen for our storm doors. If Guys, if you're gonna do that, get your wife's blessing. All right, we wanna spread this out as thin as possible. We got a little fan in. You wanna spread this out as thin as possible so it don't mold. This little regular house fan is good enough. This is molded real good. My family feels that it's molded good. And this is how we do it. So you want to spread this out again as thin as you can because it's very moist. And this could set up mold. It would be, of course, Possibly dangerous, but a bad flavor and taste for whatever you want to use for your yeast. Spread this out. Let this dry out as wet as ours is. And the moisture in there, we're going to let this be under fan. And this one will be about five good days of this. But, um, one, you can... If you're interested in the purchase of this, go to Facebook, Old Moonshiners. Send Boss Lady a message. She'll sell this to you in a quart jar or a bag by the pound. You put this in mail and you can make some good country bread or whatever you want to use for yeast. I appreciate you.